Okay, this has got to go. Much better. Much, much better. Oh, just getting tired of looking at all the uh, fur on the back of my neck. <laughs> you better get under cover. you get chicken poop on this.
Okay, I'm just about finished with the uh, with the chicken coop here now, and I, I plan on moving the birds in on Tuesday. Today is Sunday. Um, got the doors installed. Put this piece of trim on so that it will cover the gap in between the two doors here, and then installed this latch to get into the coop from the outside. So basically, one door closes, one door closes, latch it up. And I'll probably put a peg or something in here just so it doesn't have a chance of, of rattling open um, when the chickens are in there. Let me show you the side uh, over here where I'm going to access the eggs uh, in the nesting boxes. Okay, for this side I opted for a couple of latches. Um, I do want to put something here. Um, maybe that I can hinge and swing out so that when the door comes down, it will have something to rest on. Uh, but let me show you how this one works. So just your typical window latch, window latch. The other option is maybe running um, a piece of uh, chain here and here to let it so that the door stops right about here. I'm going to reach in and get what I got to do. Um, I could set something on here, maybe, you know, whatever I'm, I'm using to carry the eggs in and out right on here. Uh, but yeah, this one opens and closes. The only thing else that I'm going to do here is I want to put a piece of trim right across the top here that's kind of butt up against this just so that uh, I don't have to worry about um, any breezes or drafts coming through in this section here. We'll go around and we'll take a look at the front part where the chickens are going to come in and out of. This part was by far um, the most challenging part for me to decide how I was going to finish it off. So I stuck with the same pattern as I did up in the front here. Um, and then I boxed this in where the door is. Uh, after tossing around different ideas of how I was going to have the door slide, I really want that door to be on the inside and sliding up and down. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to hit a, a two by four in here um, and a two by four in here. And that will give me everything I need to clear the other two by four that I have right here. Uh, and I'll go ahead and I'll groove the bottom 2x4 that I have here so that the uh, piece of wood will slide in and out. I'm going to weight that wood with, uh, with some fishing weights, some heavy fishing weights that I'll pick up this week. And then I'm going to run a line straight up to an eye hook, straight back to another eye hook, and straight down so that I'll have a handle that I can open and close it from on the other side when I open the main door. Um, I still have to build that door. And I still have to attach the, the ramp that goes in and out for the chickens so that they can get in and out. But overall, most of the stuff here is done. And I'll walk you through everything again when it's completely done and finished and the chickens are going to get moved in. Could you want to come up? You want to show everybody how you can get inside? Go ahead. Go ahead. There you go. <laughs> they already like coming in and out of it. Um, they're having a blast with it and the camera looks like it just tilted on me. <laughs> so as far as the roof goes there's one thing I have to finish on this side um, and then I'll probably trim up a little bit on the other side. I'll show you that in a minute. But I want to cut these two by fours off so that they're flush and, and even if I don't do that I have a piece of metal that I put over on the table there that was the cover sheet from the metal roofing that I want to cut and bend over to make uh, an edge here just so that I don't have to worry about wind or rain or any or wind shoving any rain or anything underneath that eave. Um, so that's one thing that I need to finish on this side and then I'll show you the other side of the roof where I need to trim it up. So when I installed this roof one of the things that I didn't take into consideration was that these were eight foot panels and that from here to here was eight feet. So from the end, butt end all the way up was eight feet. So what I ended up doing was I, I actually scooched the roof up a little bit when I originally installed it so that it would overlap a little bit on the front, thinking that I could just come through here with a skill saw and cut all this off and square this up as well. So more than likely what I'm going to end up doing is uh, just that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run the skill saw here along this edge probably underneath um, so I can trim off this little piece that's hanging out here because I've probably got about that much of the wood showing. Well, it's not even wood. I've got the, the felt paper down on top. Um, and that was just to make sure that I had the overlap on the other side. So I do have to trim this out a little bit. Other than that, there's no leaks inside whatsoever. Um, we've had quite a bit of rain over the last week. Um, ever since I put this roof on last weekend, it's been pouring on and off every day and, and my trailer leaks more than this roof does. <laughs> doesn't leak at all. <laughs> So 
the plan for the fence. Um, while it's not super critical to have that done right at this minute because these guys have been kind of free ranging around the property anyway, I do need to get that done and I'll probably work on that this week. I'm not really going to include that in a video because it's basically just stringing chicken wire around the perimeter. Um, what I'm going to do is I have decided that I'm going to enclose the entire coop in the fence so that they can have that area underneath the coop to uh, go ahead and scratch um, throughout the, the winter months as long as I can you know, before it gets frozen. And then I can throw some, some sand and stuff down in there too so they can continue to scratch during the winter months. Um, what I've noticed is that when it's raining, the underneath of that stays completely dry and then outside to the other part where, the, where I uh, collect the eggs from, that also stays very, very dry. But I'm gonna run the fencing from the coop around these larger perimeter trees and give them a nice big enclosure that they can run around in. Uh, eventually I'll go ahead and have to put some uh, netting over the top as well uh, mainly because of well not just predators coming in but because these guys have already shown me that they can jump like nobody's business and I want to make sure that they they don't get out of the enclosure once it's in there because when I'm working on the cabin I don't want to have to deal with chickens running around underneath my feet the whole time either right right you guys <laughs> I did put this project together almost completely by hand so other than using a uh, cordless drill, um, which, you know, there's no way I'm going to sit there and screw in every screw that I put in this building by hand. And then over the last couple of days, I bought a, um, a new skill saw because cutting plywood with a hand saw, I just can't get a straight line uh, with a skill saw I can. And I needed one anyway for the cabin project. Uh, other than that, everything else was done by hand. Nails pounded in by hand. Um, saw all the trim work was cut by hand, uh, except for... Today, when I had to rip one board down to get the final trim that I needed for the side, but I'm really, really pleased with how this looks. Thank uh you. -huh. 